it ties in your uh, your your strut towers to your uh, to your uh, to your uh, to your firewall. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us while we bring you another product over video. Like this time for your Honda boys and girls out there, we have the Precision Works three point shut tower bar made in billet aluminum. Comes in two finishes, you get the raw finish. This right here in front of me is the silver finish. Now this is a must for you if you love carving up the canyons, if you love hitting up the autocross, the road course, if you wanna put down a hot lap uh, on a time attack. Or if you're just a hot boy, you want to pop the hood and stun on all your friends at a Starbucks parking lot. This is going to be an essential piece to improve your handling. It reduces chassis flex, body roll during aggressive cornering, and it'll add some more rigidity to your old ass Honda. What did he say? Oh. Applications include the CV7 Honda Accord, that's the 90 to 93, the EG Civic, EK Civic, Coupe, Sedan, Hatchback, and don't forget the Acura Intact. Now stay tuned while we install this on my personal car, my 1999 Honda Civic, also known as Tom Buchanan. Johnson, let's go to the shop. With a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet, loosen and remove shock tower nuts and repeat on the other side. Remove the throttle cable from the throttle cable bracket. Remove the throttle cable bracket using a 10 mil socket and ratchet. Using a socket, push onto the opposite end of that plastic tab to release it from the throttle cable bracket. Using a pry tool, remove the grommets on the firewall. Depending on your application, you may or may not have those grommets. You may or may not already have some hardware. The shock tower mounts are side specific, driver and passenger side. Be sure to install properly. Slotted holes allow room for adjustment. We did not have factory hardware, so instead we used M8 screws. Be sure to keep it loose. Place main bar across both towers and loosely tighten. Place the side specific brace and loosely install the top bolt. Ensuring the throttle cable is out of the way, repeat with the other side. Loosely tighten the bottom bolts starting with the firewall bracket. Loosely tighten the bottom bolts on the strut tower. Hand tighten the rest of the bolts. Make sure there's no contact with anything in the engine bay. With a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet, go ahead and tighten down the strut tower bolts. After proper alignment, tighten all the way down. Start with the firewall bolts and tighten those down. With a six millimeter Allen key, fully tighten down all bolts.
with a torque wrench, tighten the strut bolts down to factory spec, 33 foot-pounds. <laughs>